everyone, we are Robo Squad and we are from SMK St. Mary. Today, allow us to represent about our project known as RoboSoil. Our teacher advisor is Puan Faiza and our group consists of Alicia, Ng, Ivory, Michalia and me, myself, Baishu. Now, allow me to call upon Michalia to take over. So now, I'll be explaining about the problem faced by Malaysians and what our project aims to achieve. Plants wilt when roots are unable to provide sufficient moisture to the stem and leaf. Today, in the sense of our digital and modern world, humans are too busy to initiate and plant a flowering plant. That is why we came up with an innovation called RoboSoil. RoboSoil helps to detect the moisture level of your plant, mainly soil, and will automatically water your plant if it detects that the soil is dry. Next, RoboSoil also helps to detect the pH value of water used to water the plants. For this project, we also use compost fertilizer and it helps to boost the nutrients for the plants. Now, I'll be explaining the objective of our project. Firstly, our project uses rainwater to water plants. However, nowadays, most rainwater consists of carbonic acid which can affect the growth of our plants. Therefore, by determining and treating the pH value of water, we can help boost the growth of plants. Next, our, our project uses a water irrigation system which automatically waters plants when they detect that the soil is too dry. This can be helpful if you're busy or don't have time to water your plants. Next, our project uses compost fertilizer which can enrich the soil while reducing food waste in our country. So this is how RoboSoil works. First, we have this pH sensor here. This pH meter will showcase the value of the pH level of rainwater which we'll be using to water our plants later. So this is the pH meter probe. We will simply just dip the pH meter probe into the rainwater to see if it has the optimum level to water our plants. If the rainwater is too acidic, we will treat them before watering our plant and if it's not, we will just simply water them using our self-watering system which will be explained by Alicia. So this is our self-watering system. First, the soil moisture sensor will be dipped into dry soil and it will automatically turn on a water pump that will fill this water container. And from the water container, the water will flow through the tube and water all the plants evenly. When the soil is, is already wet enough, the soil moisture sensor will detect it and it's wet. So the power box will turn off the water pump and there you have it. Your plant has been watered without you lifting a finger. So we also use food waste for our compost fertilizer where we mainly use banana peels and eggshells. We use eggshells since eggshells contains approximately 96% of calcium carbonate where calcium is essential to neutralize the soil acidity. And we also use banana peels where we just put directly on the soil so when it decomposes, it will release nutrients to the soil and the plants will absorb the nutrients. So in this way, it is saving our cost and it's a healthier option for our plants since it contains no chemicals and it's also preventing food waste production. So this is our target market. Our target users are people from the age of 20 and above. Let's take example of a university student. They are too piled up with homeworks and projects that they forget to water their plants every day. Not only that, working people, they are too busy with their work that they forget to water their plants every day. And also, um, we are going to look at elderly people who forget to water their plants because of age factors. What are the impacts from our project? You will be able to plant any flowering plants at your own convenience and also generate income by planting your own veggies and selling them out. Not only that, it can also stop, prevent the use of pesticides and this is much more safer for the environment. These are the sustainable de development goals that align with our project. First, clean water and sanitation. Second, responsible consumption and production. Third, climate action. Fourth, life on land. Fifth, good health and well-being. Sixth, industry, innovation and infrastructure. We hope our project raises awareness among people about green technology and biology. That's it from us. Thank you!